So there's something that we haven't talked about yet and I'm really excited to show you. First, we have to get there, so let's go. What's going on, friends? I'm gonna cut right to the chase and just tell you exactly what's going on. We're opening a studio in downtown Duluth. And it's not only just gonna be a studio, but it's also gonna be a co-working space. So this is gonna be a shared space for creatives, entrepreneurs, small business owners, people that work remote. This is gonna be a space for us to come together and find community and try to fight against this isolation that's so easy to feel in our industries. But before I actually get to show you what the space looks like, I wanna give you a little bit of history, a little bit of background on how we got here, what this space is, and what things are gonna look like around here. Starting off, if you don't know who I am, my name is Asher. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based here in Duluth, Minnesota. I first got started in photography years ago and started to build a business, but it was really hard to figure out how to build that business sustainably. I was also watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of education on how to be a better photographer, how to film weddings, all of this kind of stuff. And one of the people I ended up watching the most was Eric Floberg. And learning so much from him about philosophy and about the community and about getting connected and meeting people. And something that I've always admired is that him and his studio mates in Chicago have a studio called Creative Club Chicago. And in one of their videos talking about how it got started and how they use it and kind of the mission of that space, like it was everything that I was looking for in a place and nothing existed like that here in Duluth. And at the end of that video, he was like, and if you're wanting to create a space that's inspired by Creative Club Chicago, you should definitely do something like this in your home city. And at that point I knew that starting my own photography business and starting a studio in a collaborative work environment with other photographers we're going to be hand in hand. It's a part of the same mission for me. I started just putting that idea out into the world of like, how cool would it be if we had a collaborative studio that we can do shoots in, we can make education in, we can do YouTube, TikTok, Reels. And the more I started telling people this and putting this idea out into the world, the more I started to see people's eyes light up. And so I knew that there was enough energy and interest behind this idea to invest in finding a studio space to, to host this idea. And after the building purchase went through, we started to make this thing become a reality. And the first phase was walking through and taking a look at what the place looked like, what we need to do, what kind of renovations need to happen. And immediately we knew that we were gonna need to knock down some walls, redo the flooring and Gotta love that new flooring. It's gonna be beautiful. One simple thing became much more complicated. There was one day when I was up in the studio and I was tearing up the carpet to see what was underneath it and it was more carpet and then trying to see what was underneath that carpet, hoping for beautiful natural wood floors, right? Well, that carpet that led to more carpet was glued down to a wood uh, floor that was glued down on top of the original wood floors. And so those unfortunately were not able to be saved. And so one of the, the biggest projects was taking out the walls, redoing the flooring, and we're also going to be redoing the lighting up there. So it's basically going to be a whole new space that's that's designed specifically for being a beautiful south facing window, natural light studio where we can create things in together. So as we come up the stairs from the co-working space, this is how you get access to the studio. And the studio is gonna be a really cool space. I keep calling every space cool, but it really is. It's gonna be really awesome. I can't wait to actually start to make some things up here, right? And so how are we doing? Just making a little uh, video for like building some hype about this. So don't mind me being an influencer in the wild. <laughs> we get a lot of like the sun rays that come in, especially towards sunset when they break over the buildings right here. And so creating this whole front area by the windows as the shooting space, thinking this is where we're gonna also have some backdrops. I'm gonna order some paper backdrops in a bunch of different colors. And we're gonna be able to partner with the vault and we can rent out different pieces of furniture and create sets in this space as well. Um, so I'm thinking like a Valentine's Day set. I'm thinking just any kind of set that you would wanna use for a photo shoot. 
right over here by the stairs is where we're also gonna have an additional lounge where you can have a meeting with a client or a space to have a coffee and work and put your feet up if the space up here isn't being used for a shoot. Right over here, we're gonna have our gear room. And so all of our tier three members are gonna be able to have a couple boxes on the shelving unit locked in this room. So if you're wanting to leave any gear, you can definitely do that. But that's also where we're gonna have additional lighting equipment, sound, backdrops, if you're doing branding photography, anything out here that would require any sort of textures or lighting, we're gonna have all of that in that gear room as well. Along this wall here outside of that gear room, we're gonna have some different workbenches so you can change out lenses, lighting, you can leave anything there that you're wanting to while you're doing the shoot. And then back over here towards the door to the skywalk, is where we're gonna have a little client uh, vanity for doing hair and makeup. So maybe you're doing a styled shoot and you bring in a hair and makeup artist or maybe your client is gonna do some of their own hair and makeup. We're gonna have a vanity area over here for that. We're gonna have a little fridge and snack area over here for clients as well. So this is just gonna be a really cool naturally lit space where we're gonna be able to do photo shoots in, but we're also gonna be able to host different events. So this can double as a workshop and event space. And it's not just the studio that's up upstairs, it's also a co-working space down here on the main level. So the space is really coming along and just kinda wanna show you a little bit about what we have going on down here. Um, a lot of what's been going on in the last couple weeks, at least for me, has been a lot of painting and cleaning. There's a lot of, uh, just really bad paint jobs that have been done in here over the years. So like for example, right over here in the windows, you can see that it's really bad <laughs> and they didn't tape, it's all over the metal. And so what I've been doing in this first phase is just like painting the new colors on the walls that I'm wanting. So we have a green and then we have a pink up there. This uh, little ledge is actually gonna have a bench and pillows, so it's gonna be just like a really cool place to hang out with this like natural light in the window. It's like gonna probably be one of my favorite spots. And then in that same area, we're gonna have a lounge, and so we're gonna have a couch right over here. We're also gonna have a coffee table and two chairs, so that this is just gonna be more of like the lounge space up here in the front, more like the kind of open co-working concept. So that's gonna be this front space. And then as we're working towards the back, if you need to make a call, a Zoom call, phone call, anything, we're gonna have a silent pod phone booth that you can do that. We're gonna have some booths over here to work. And then that leads us into the back, which we're gonna have our conference room and we have our break room and bathroom back over there. In this room right here is actually a room I'm really, really excited about. This is gonna be the editing suite. And so this is gonna be where I'm gonna have a bunch of uh, desks along the wall here. I'm actually gonna go and pick up some standing desks. And this is gonna be a spot where you can come in and work and it's gonna be quiet. It's like relatively soundproofed. Um, and so it's just gonna be a really cool vibey spot where you can just really get the work done that you need to get done. Back over here, we're gonna have mailboxes um, for people that are members, but also we might be offering virtual offices, which means like if you want a professional business address and you don't want to list your own home address, you can uh, have a monthly subscription to have your mail sent here. Sorry about the Again, the floor going in upstairs. In here, we're gonna have the conference room. So this is gonna be a really cool space where I'm gonna have a big TV on the wall. Maybe we can have movie nights in here. Otherwise, it'll just be a really cool space to have uh, a meeting with a client. I'm gonna have some different like pieces of work from our members on the wall here so we can have our, our work and our photography shown off. And then in here, we're gonna have the break room. We're gonna have a fridge, we're gonna have a kitchenette. I wanna have a whole coffee cafe barista corner because I really love coffee and I know that a lot of us are going to need it. Uh, so that's gonna be something that I'm really looking forward to. And then we have our small and quaint little bathroom back over here that I'm gonna be uh, putting in some work to clean up and, and make really cool. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much the space down here. The space is only so big, so we do have to limit the amount of memberships that we're gonna have. So if you are interested in jumping on our wait list, and getting more information, make sure to go to our website. I'll leave a link to that down below. Please send me an email, join the mailing list, 
get in touch so that you know exactly when these memberships are gonna go live so that you can jump on it and get one of those memberships. The memberships aren't available quite yet, so you do have to join that wait list and I'll have a lot of updates and information coming soon. My hope is to have a grand opening party sometime in late February and then have our first official month in here being March. So the time is now to reach out and join that mailing list, join that wait list, uh, contact me, you know, comment down below something that you're looking for or any questions that you have and I can't wait to give you an update in the next video that I'll have coming out in the next week or two. Until then, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. We'll see ya.